flight. We're gonna run a megalithic area here. And it's probably 9,000 years old. And um, this is the site that was actually associated with the place where there was glyphs. Where there was glyphs that looked like uh, reptiles. on the rock and those glyphs also feature what look like flying machines and and other things and um, there was a whole monumented trail behind that that went up to a pyramid and these the glyphs I mean the, these had reptoid looking they had three toes three fingers they um, elongated necks and, and reptile looking heads and that rock right in front of us is, is actually a monument and we're going to start right off that and it lines up with that that big megalith up there that's it's monolithic in nature and positioned i don't know if you can see the screen here but so all these rocks out front are something basically uh, most of them are big monuments the big one to our right you might see it on the little is a turtle you can see the shell the mouth open and everything and there's also a smaller turtle on the edge that you see from the foot trail and then that big monolith in front of us is about 30 foot tall 20 feet by eight or nine feet thick and you can see it's just balanced there and from the right point of perspective, it's a big head when you swing around on the main trail. And then you'll notice up behind it, there's a big megalith. And to its left, there's a, a monolithic little rock sitting there like kind of an obelisk type thing. And then there's triangles, and those triangles lead, excuse me, lead off to major trails. And then as we see behind us here, you got a major triangle, a big pitch. Uh, it's, from the ground, you know, it's very pyramidal. It's got the same angle as the Great Pyramid. Um, and it's, it's, it's massive. It's truly megalithic. It's about 30 feet tall, 30 feet thick, and about 60 foot across the base, or fit over 50. And it's all, basically, it's made and placed here as part of this trail. And there's several pitches that go up. We're going to fly the drift, the, the air trail. So you can see we go over a pyramidal rock and the slab. And the next one comes into view. Now this all lead, this is actually a trail meant to be followed from the air. You can also see this is also a megalith that's been placed here. And up top, we see coming into view a big pad. And at the back of that pad is a, is a large megalith that size, that's the size of a two-story house. And this pad would fit about 2,500 people. It's a manufactured pad. In a couple areas, you've got where there was structure that's now long collapsed, but it's all large rock, megalithic stuff. And you can see remnants right there of wall structures. And this flat pad runs out there, and then it goes back to now basically natural terrain. At the back, you've got another triangular rock that leads up, and kind of more of those in the middle. This rock is, like I said, about the size of a two-story house. And it marks the back of this pad on a flight line, basically. And so if, I, if we raise up in a little altitude, we'll see a, a hollowed out area with kind of a plinth of rock <clears throat> or a monolith in the middle. 
and what that is is just it's what appears to be a manufactured pad it's massive and it's made out of just what four or five gigantic blocks and they're all just perfectly symmetrical it's basically an ancient landing pad and nothing out here is like this at all, but I'll show you how well that it's cut. You can see all the, the little smaller cut rock on top. And we're 3,000 feet, 3,100 feet away right now, so, and it's got about probably a 30 mile wind, 30 mile an hour wind at that cliff. So this piloting isn't exactly the easiest, but we're going to go right in here and take a look. And plus, this, this program is not the stock program. It doesn't have any We Fly For You control. So it's whatever you do. So you can see we'll come up off the top here and take a look at it. Yeah, and this is just it's a, a crazy area. It's nothing like down below. We'll zip around here. Yeah, I know that. Take a look at this from the top. Oops, sorry. You'll see the symmetry. Just jutting, kind of jutting out of the cliff here. And I mean, that's not natural at all. You saw the face of it. And that's what you get, you know, at the end of some of these trails. They're not like Spanish trails or early settler stuff. This is ancient, megalithic, constructed. bring this bad boy back <laughs> you'll see there's rocks on rocks here and those are basically just line of sight flight markers So this goes over the pad, takes us over a triangle. And this will basically take us right back over the, the set of triangles that we just came across. So they're all lined up um, in with that pad. This is the third flight we've done on this drone so far. And you can see the size of that stuff is just nuts. See, this is actually the first pitch is right there below us. <laughs> 